story which we've been tracking through the weekend, I'd have to say, is Titan, which will be acquiring that additional 27.18% stake in Carrot Lane for 4,621 crores. Do note that this transaction will take Titan's stake in Carrot Lane to 98.28% on a fully diluted basis. Manglam, you've been busy the entire uh, <laughs> weekend over this. And tell us more about this in our special segment, Inside Edge, considering that we did speak to the management earlier as well. Yeah, so, you know, it's extremely interesting. The first 71% stake that they bought between 2016 and 2019 mm. was for a cumulative 400 to 450 odd crores. Mm. And now, just 27% stake is what they buy for 4,600 crores. So, 10 times the value uh, in absolute terms what they pay for 27% than what they had for 72%, and that's the nature of valuation itself. So this deal values current lane at 17,000 crores. When the first time they put money in the company, the company was valued at around 575 crores. So under Titan, Carrot Lane has actually grown by 30 times in valuations. Mm. Um, importantly, the sales also have grown as fast. And in just the last three years, three times jump in their revenue, 723 crores, they've broken even, and they've uh, you know uh, posted EBIT margins of 5.5% in the previous quarter as well. So no denying the growth trajectory. Now one can argue the valuation at eight times price to trailing sales could be a little high, but what else was Titan going to do, right? 72% mm -hmm. stake is what they had, and they had to at some point increase it. And if it's a business which is growing extremely fast, then maybe buy it at an expensive price now, then at a much more expensive price a couple of years down the line. And that's exactly what uh, you know the management said to us today as well. They're confident of the value that Carrot Lane brings to Titan. The company has been growing at a 50% CAGR, will continue to grow faster than Titan's own portfolio. An important trigger for them will be because most of their revenue comes in from diamond business, the margins will improve. Currently at 5.5%, they believe that they will cross Titan's jewellery margins in the future as well. So if that happens, then that adds a big uh, you know, earnings uh, accretion to Titan itself. They will take some debt to fund the deal. They have cash of a little more than 3,000 crores in their books, so they will have to pay uh, you know, uh, the, for this acquisition by taking some debt. Titan's own market share in jewellery business stands at around 7%. They are targeting double digit. Mm -hmm. But Carrot Lanes out there is uh, sub 7%. So it's at 6%. So it's under index. So you get that additional jump coming in with this as well. Mm -hmm. They don't have any plans of listing Carrot Lane separately. So all those who are worried about Titan having a holding company discount for Carrot Lane once it lists separately will also go out of the window. So it is an expensive deal, but it's good to buy an expensive product now then buy it a lot more uh, at a lot higher price, say a couple of years down the line, and which is why perhaps the street is not so worried and they've uh, managed to hold the stock in the green. Okay, well, I was just going through the website as well. Extremely tempting <laughs> <laughs> portfolio. But like you mentioned, you know, the real growth kicker came in once Titan entered. Yes. So I think the smartest deal maker has to be the promoters of Carrot Lane and the deal that they've managed to garner as well. But talking about uh, this entire transaction, we did catch up with the management of Titan. We asked about the rationale behind acquiring this additional stake. Listen in. I mean, we see it from Titan point of view, it's a multi-decadal opportunity of value creation. And that is what the primary uh, motivation for us to kind of increase our stake at this point of time. As far as this deal is concerned, our balance sheet is pretty healthy. We have a good cash position, but we are going to do part, part debt funding for this deal. And we are working towards that. And by the time deal comes to closer in next two months kind of uh, horizon, we should be ready with our financing plan. Carrot Lane is largely diamond uh, jewelry business. So the uh, opportunity to keep inching up margin and gradually not only equal uh, Titan uh, jewelry portfolio margin, but be slightly better than that exists. We talk about that our jewelry business with respect to jewelry industry in India is current 7% market share and will go towards 10% by FY27. Carrot Lane similarly within Titan jewelry portfolio sits at about 6-7% and they should go towards 10% by FY27. So certainly they need to grow and, and in our expectation they will continue to grow faster than rest of the portfolio. Okay, 